I'm Brenda Quintana coming to you from the Beehive. Today I'm going to show you how to make this sweet wedding card using the Floral Phrases Bundle and the Layering Circles Framelits. The Floral Phrases Bundle comes with two things in it, the detailed floral thinlets and the Floral Phrases Stamp Set. And we're going to be using both of these to make the card. And also we are going to need the Layering Circles Framelits and they come with both scallop circles and and smooth circles and here is the card that we're going to be making it is actually kind of a simple looking card but it's very elegant because we're going to use the detailed floral thinlets to make this lacy looking dress and then we're just going to layer it onto some cardstock and add a little bit of ruche ribbon so let me show you how to make this card to start off with, you're going to need the Big Shot, and I've got the new Big Shot platform here. Our old platform used to have a hinge on the side, but now we've got a Big Shot platform that's in two pieces. I think it's easier to use. Not only that, it does a better job of cutting our detailed dies. So you're going to need both the Big Shot platform and the thin die adapter if you're using the new platform. And then you're going to put one of the cutting plates down, then you're going to need some Whisper White cardstock. This is our regular Whisper White cardstock, not the thick cardstock. And I've cut each of these pieces to a three and a quarter inch square. If you are using our regular weight cardstock to do this dress, you will need to cut these scallop circles individually. With regular Whisper White is a little thinner, so we can cut two of the scallop circles at one time. So I've just layered them on top of each other. Then you're going to need the layering circles framelits, and they come in both smooth circles and scallop circles. You're going to need the largest scallop circle and I'm just going to center that on my cardstock and then I'm going to put the other cutting plate on top and then I'm just going to run that through my big shot then you can take this these outer pieces and throw them out and you're left with two scallop circle pieces like that. I'm just going to set my big shot aside for a moment while we cut out the dresses. So here I have the template that we're going to use to cut out the dresses. I did a video tutorial on how to make this dress template. So if you look down below right here, just click on that link and that's going to take you to the video that shows you how to make this dress template. I'm just going to trace it right now. So you're just going to take your dress template and line it up with the outer scallop circles make sure it lines up nicely and then you're going to go ahead and trace it right onto the scallop circle just the outside and for the wedding dress I'm not going to do this little V here up at the top that I did with the other dresses See, so I have a little V in my template. We'll just leave that out for the wedding dress. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other scallop circle. Just make sure it's lined up and then just trace it. And then all you have to do is cut along the pencil line. There you go you've got your two dresses and one of them we are going to leave solid and the other one we're going to bring the big shot back in and here I have again my new big shot platform I've got the thin die adapter piece on top I've got a cutting plate and now we're going to take the detailed floral thinlets and I'm going to take this bigger piece so you're going to take your dress and you're going to just kind of lay it on top of your floral thinlets if you like you can try and uh, sway it so it, it picks out a certain pattern. So I kind of like it like that. So I'm just going to turn this over and put it down on my platform like that. And then I'm going to put my other cutting plate on there. And then I'm going to roll this through twice. So once going this way and once going back the other way. And then let's take this out and see what we've got. 
Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. Now let's put the Big Shot away and take out the Big Shot die brush. So I've got my Big Shot die brush. I'm going to leave this piece in the, in the die for the moment. And then I'm just going to run my brush over top and see if I can remove some of these pieces before I pull this off. Let's have a look. Okay. So let's have a look and look, it removed almost all the pieces, actually it removed all the pieces from the dress. And then we can lay that right on top of our other dress. And so we just need to put some Tombow on the back. Just put some dots kind of in some of these outer locations. The smaller the dot, the better, because this will ooze out if your dots are too big. Try and get them on some of these little tiny outer pieces. And I know this actually, if you have a look at this, this kind of looks kind of bad without the backing on it. I don't know if you can see that at all, but without the backing, it looks like, what did you do? But once you add the backing onto it, it kind of makes the dress look a bit like a brocade dress. That kind of is very pretty. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but that makes a really pretty looking wedding dress. And then if you like, you can add just a little bit of pearl detail. And I'm gonna do that using our pearl jewels. And I've found that these little ones that are stuck together are really good for putting across the waist of the dress. So if you count over six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then cut through the adhesive because these are all these pearl jewels are stuck together on an, a line of adhesive so if you cut through that then it's easier to remove them and then I'm just going to peel off these little six like that and then I'm just going to adhere them along the waist like that and I think that makes a really cute looking wedding dress. So let me show you how to finish off this card. So I originally made my first card in Sweet Sugar Plum and I thought it'd be fun to do it in a different color because if you know the wedding colors of the bride and groom you could theoretically make the background color in whatever color their wedding colors were in so that that would be kind of cool. So I've got a piece of dapper denim cardstock here and I've cut this piece to 11 inches by four and a quarter inches and then I've scored it in half at the five and a half inch mark. So then I'm just going to fold it in half along the score line and take my bone folder and smooth down that fold. We'll set that aside. Then you're going to need a piece of Whisper White for your focal point and I have cut this piece to three and a quarter inches by four and a half inches and then I'm just going to take my Project Life corner punch and I'm going to punch all the corners. So to use this punch, I just bring in each corner and I make sure it's centered um, on my die. If it's not centered, it's not gonna look good. So just kind of put it in there, make sure it looks centered from the bottom and punch it. And then one more time like that. And then you're just going to lay your dress right onto this piece. Keeping in mind we're going to have ribbon down here at the bottom. So I'm going to leave a little bit more room on the bottom. And then I'm going to take my dapper denim ink pad and open it up. And then we're going to take from the floral phrases stamp set, it has this great greeting uh, that says wedding wishes. So I've already got that mounted on a block and we're just gonna take that and ink it up in the same color as our card base, dapper denim. And then we're just gonna come in and stamp that right next to the dress like that. Now all we need to do is assemble our card. So I'm going to take a little bit of Tombow and put it on the back of this whisper white piece. And I'm just going to center it on my card, that. I'm going to add some Tombow to the back of my wedding dress. And then add that right beside my little greeting of wedding wishes. It's already looking really cute. Look at that dress. 
not pretty. And then I'm going to take some dapper denim ruched ribbon. This ruched ribbon is awesome and it matches exactly. So I'm going to need, um, let's say about 14 inches to wrap it around and just tie it in a knot. So I'm just gonna take this and wrap it around. I'm gonna shift it a little bit so it's underneath my wedding dress. I'm going to tie the first knot and then I'm going to use my locking tweezers. I got these at uh, in the beading section of a craft store and I'm going to use those to hold the knot so I don't need someone's finger. I'm just going to tie bow that and then I can release the locking tweezers, tighten it up just a little bit more. And if you want to, at this point, you can shift it a little bit into the direction you want to go. And then all we need to do is just cut off the ends. I'm going to angle cut them like that. And there you go. I've got a dapper denim wedding card. And earlier I made this sweet sugar plum card. Aren't they pretty? And once you've made the template, once you've watched the other video that I made to make the template, that making the dress is really quick and easy. The first time you make the template, it will take you a couple minutes to make it, but then you have the template for a whole lot of other dresses. And I have one more idea to show you with this cute dress that will be coming up in a couple of days. So stay tuned for that. All the supplies you'll need to make these sweet wedding cards are available for purchase on my blog. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Bye for now.